Hello mages all over the world, my name is Martin and I'm raising flag from Prague, Czech Republic in Europe for the last time. I decided to quit Magic the Gathering Arena after a week off. Uh, I was thinking about this idea a week before, but I gave myself one week off arena and uh, my decision is final. I'm quitting Magic the Gathering Arena and uh, probably uh, even YouTube. I mean, uh, the channel will be still online, so I will still be able to answer your questions or comments but uh, there won't be much videos on this channel new videos on this channel sometimes i could perhaps shoot something with uh, magic the gathering uh, content but it probably won't be arena it will be for example some new completed commander deck or opening some boosters or something huge in Magic the Gathering Arena world or maybe some new deck which tear apart opponents and you haven't seen it before so maybe something like that but it won't be on a regular basis and it will be more like ad hoc videos when something come up uh, i started this channel in january this year january 2021 and i gave myself a mission uh, that i will shoot 50 i will record and upload 50 videos and see how it goes and it went pretty well thank you all for support thank you all for leaving subscribe i got uh, nearly 500 subscribers i'm 100 subscribers off 500 subscribers and the ideas of this channel pretty much worked i guess um, but the thing is that i know it should be done differently. I know it should be done better, that there is a better way how to start your YouTube channel and perhaps your YouTube career. Uh, and it's in different channels how you uh, shoot your content. You should be on Twitter, you should have Discord, you should have Patreon, you should and do live streams on YouTube, on Twitch. You should you should have Instagram and all those kind of stuff uh, for supporting your channel and growing your viewers. But the fact is that I got uh, no time for that things. Uh, I'm recording my videos at night when my family sleeps. Uh, I got full-time job around nine hours a day and I got uh, two amazing sons and beautiful wife and I want to spend time with them so I'm not able to do more than two or three videos a week and it's the top of my my uh, ability time ability to do so so it's not enough it should be on daily basis it should be on more multiple platforms but um, that's not how i can do it and as you could say if you're not doing it for 100 percent just don't do it and you would be right so if you don't have time for do it properly just don't do it i tried it was hell of experience 
uh, I have to learn with the green screen, with lightnings, with sound. Uh, I have to upgrade my hardware, uh, buy some great camera, uh, learn with OBS, editing videos, uploading on YouTube. Uh, I was practicing my English, which was the main goal why I wanted to do that, that I'm gonna be talking to the to, to world in English and the world will understand me as I'm talking <laughs> with my accent. But yeah, uh, everything uh, went great and I love it. But I just don't have uh, as many as much time as I would want to have for starting something like YouTube channel. Uh, 50 videos is uploaded, ton of fun, great decks, and um, yeah, I deleted all decks I wanted to record because it was sometimes combo decks sometimes meme decks uh, and i left only i left only uh, regular tier one decks which really can perform and which really can get you to mythic i got it divided with stars it's for standard and with no start it's for historic in standard we got sacrifice combo some life gain and white mono white aggro decks tax deck sultai ultimatum white magecraft which is the strongest magecraft of course rogues winota asio control which is probably the best control deck in standard right now video is on my channel if you're interested it got more than thousand views so it's pretty successful video for small channel as mine reddit that's my hard thing because i'm a red mage in my heart so this is uh, my one of my most popular deck for me uh, mono black control esp control big rogues uh, when there is no companion in form of lures but the lures is still in deck rune deck uh, the video of rune deck is also on my channel it's the only one hit combo with storm herald drawing ton of cards and then fling storm herald Yorion control Cycle deck, Raktos, Gruul, Shrine, so powerful with the all new cards. Stompy Green, Riddle Form deck, Titan's Nest, Gairuda, and Blue Devotion, which is fun when the, when you play Nyx Lotus and then you draw six cards and you can play all those cards in one turn. So super super fun deck great for your daily quests when you need to play for example uh, 35 blue spells this deck is great for daily daily goals and then in historic i got the fairy control goblin legacy one of my main deck gruel killers Jeskai Control, Pact, Angels, Flash Deck, Storm Combo, Burn Deck, Arcanist Broken Deck for Best of Three, uh, New Form Deck, Elf Deck, Ors of Auras, Jump Sacrifice, Lockdown Deck with Nine Lives and Solemnity, Redburn, Dead Shadow in Ors of Colors, Infinite Veto, with Exquisition Blood Combo, Tybalt's Lottery, or Trickery as you want to, Rakdos, Chandra, and Historic Auras. That's my deck for Historic. I 
skipped one deck which I want to show you and it's Mythic Superfast. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I am in Mythic four time in a row, pretty easily and pretty fast. And this is a deck which get me there all four months uh, when I was playing. This deck usually made the biggest part of the of the run to mythic. It's just 13th day of new season and I'm already in mythic and this deck did hell of a job the biggest part of the journey. We got Beaumont Courier, Fervent Champion, Frostbite, Robber, Burning, uh, Rampage Fer Ferocidon, Annex, Chandra, Embercleaf. We are running snow so we could have uh, Faceless Haven. The main strategy is be fast. If it's possible, be on play, then you are unstoppable. You throw a bunch of cards, for example, Ferocidon is great card against goblins, for example. When they throw a lot of a lot of creatures with Grenko and they are basically dead. It's also great against life gain and when you get it in your main deck, it's super fast to it's super fun to play against a live game and uh, basically it's deal a lot of damage and basically win in turn four in sideboard we got four lightning strike in case we are playing against control mage because control mage usually doesn't have much uh, creatures so I'm switching lightning strike for frostbite to be able to hit the face. I also have rolling vortex which turned to be the best card against control mage because you are basically giving them clock and you still can stop their life gain because uh, lightning helix is pretty popular card in these days everybody's playing it and you will be playing against Lightning Helix with this deck a lot. So it's great to stop life gain. And it's also great against Mizzet Mystery or Gearhulk, which are cards uh, they, which uh, are playing spells from Graveyard without paying mana cost because then Rolling Vortex trigger and deal 5 damage to them. And... Uh, you would be surprised how much it could be lethal because in turn 3 they are, for example, on 8 life and then when they manage and establish board with some board wipe and turn 6 they play Gearhulk and they are dead because they trigger Rolling Vertex. I got Soulseer because uh, Celestia Company deck is pretty popular right now and you got tons of creature with five toughness even indestructibility uh, in green and soul seer could handle this i got a grand war great card against white opponents uh, a lot of people cannot play this card properly and doesn't get anything from it so uh, invest one minute and listen how to play this card properly if you want to get maximum value of it. You have to pick small creature, some creature your opponent can kill, which means when you got for example 1-1 one, one in green, uh, love, str love struck beast and Ooze, for example, with one counter on it, 3-3. Three, three. So you want to take Ooze with it. Everybody's taking the biggest creature, which is so huge mistake. You have to pick smaller creature your opponent can kill. 
so you pick ooze. Next turn, chapter 2, you do not attack with this ooze. I usually do not attack at all. <clears throat> I'm just waiting. And chapter 3, your opponent has to attack with everything they got. Which means 1-1, one, 5-5, one, five, five, Love Struck Beast and maybe some more creatures if they play something. You block their biggest creature with the ooze, with your stolen creature, which means ooze will die. You block the biggest threat and after chapter 3 ends, they, they, after the chapter 3 triggers, they are all dead, which means it basically works as board wipe because all of their creatures are gone and it also works uh, as tempo card because usually when opponent is smart they don't want to play any creature so that they have to attack next turn which means they are not playing any creatures and when it's creature deck you basically stop them for two turns and it could be enough for you to establish huge attack or use Ember Cleaver, something like that. The main part, you have to pick creature with a highest toughness than the power if your opponent got such a creature. Because after chapter 3 trigger, uh, if you got for example 2-3, it would deal only two damage to three toughness and it won't die so it's great creature to steal because you then block with this creature it die by the blocking and the rest of creature will die because it's for example five five or six six or it doesn't matter the only way when i'm stealing the biggest dude uh, on the board is when they got for example only creature when they play Gargarot and they are tapped out and I still Gargarot and do final attack or final two attacks and win. That's only way when I stealing the biggest creature because it's usually the only creature I steal. Uh, on, on the other cases you need to steal even the 1-1, one, one, for example, and then you will get maximum value of this card. And the last card is Cage, it's for a lot of decks. It's for Rogues, it's for Bractos, it's for anything with anything with Graveyard, like Arcanist, uh, like Mizzet's Mastery, like Gearhawk, uh, it's for collected company. A lot of decks are playing collected company. You cannot play. You can play it, but uh, none of cards will hit the board. So it's great sideboard card for almost every opponent. And I got also <clears throat> Annex because when you are playing against control decks, I usually switch Frostbite from Lightning Strike and add Annex to be sure that I have at least one Annex on board. Mainly because it's great for Embercleaf and the second reason is board wipes. When you got three creatures with Annex, uh, after board wipe when they are tapped out, you got four or five one one tokens. Uh, together with Faceless Haven, it could be devastated and board wipes no matter. So this is my main deck. This is a deck which get you to Mythic. It's a historic deck. Don't be scared to play historic. I know a lot of you like standard because in historic there are a lot of cards. You have to spend a lot of wild cards. But this deck definitely worth crafting four times mythic every time around mid-season and it's just because i don't have much time to play i'm definitely sure i could be in mythic like in first week of the 
season when I would have time but this deck will definitely get you there will you win every games <laughs> hell no hell no that's the second reason why I'm quitting arena and the reason is matchmaking system matchmaking system in arena is such a hell you really don't want to experience that just craft this deck and play it for one month you will be in mythic like in 10 or 13 days but you will be so annoyed so pissed because matchmaking will give you the same decks over and over again i i've been this season i've been playing against just sky control so many times so many times i feel like seven out of ten opponents are playing just sky control like 70 percent of whole arena are just sky control players which is nonsense there are tons of people thousands maybe millions of players and uh, there are no such a percent percentage of just sky control players in the arena but matchmaking is doing uh, this way and it's so annoying imagine that you are playing against control decks so you got your aggro decks and you are losing so you switch to control deck designed against another control deck and then you are playing only against aggro you are losing everything it's only creature decks so you are switching your control deck to creature control deck full of board wipes full of redain taxes and all kind of stuff and there are no creature decks you are playing against control decks with no creatures and you are losing because they are prepared against control decks and it happens me so much time uh, I mean don't get me wrong I'm not complaining it's not a thing uh, Wizards of the Coast gave us great game visual game full of the newest card every set go right into the game and it's awesome I love it it's free game you can play it you can craft your favorite deck for free and you can play the whole day get to mythic to the tournament win some prize money everything you want it's really awesome but it's still a business they are not doing it for our beautiful eyes they are doing it for money and how they get money they need you to play they need you to spend a lot of time in the arena crafting new decks building new sets and do it over and over again imagine it was my dream build ultimatum deck imagine if you would build ultimatum deck which beat anybody this deck is really close if there wouldn't be hacked matchmaking system if you would really be playing randomly against different opponents uh, you could definitely win 100 games out of 100 in best of three easily but you will meet decks specifically designed against this deck uh, turn three will be clarion board wipe turn four would be day of judgment day turn five wrath of god turn six doom scar and when you meet deck like this you are basically out of chance and you will meet those decks 
a lot. Uh, just guy control, board wipe, board wipe, the fairy hero of Dominaria, drawing basically whole deck, exiling all your permanents, which is land because you don't have anything, you don't have any card draw, and you are board wipe every single time. So that's bad that's bad imagine tournament where you go with this deck and everybody around you are playing just sky control like there wouldn't be such a tournament and in real life but in arena it's pretty common it's so frustrating to play against same deck four times in a row no three times in a row then two times with different decks and then two times in a row against just guy control or phoenixes phoenixes are pretty popular right now and apparently matchmaking system thinks that it would be great a fight against phoenixes i get it maybe it's a uh, thought as uh, some kind of dual decks Wizard of the Coast printed back then but two decks built against each other and fighting but it's not a it's not a way you want to play it you don't want to play against deck specifically designed to beat your deck you want to build deck and dominate that's what you love in magic that's why you stay in arena uh, and that's the fun it's not fun when you think it's not f even a fair it, it's not even fair when when you cannot do anything when you got frostbite but they got no creature when you got two creatures on board board wipe when you got another two creatures on board board wipe when you got faceless haven on board they destroy your land with uh, lightning helix for example uh, when you attack so you think like you cannot do anything don't get me wrong i beat just sky control a lot of time i mean i'm in mythic right now so i beat them uh, pretty easily especially because of annex and faceless haven that's the main card against control decks because when they board wipe and you got four tokens and faceless haven you are pretty much a-ok -okay. together with embercleave i won so many games with embercleave on token from annex 2-2 two, two attacking for four and then Chandra did the rest. So, yeah, this deck can be just guy control, but it's annoying playing only against those kind of decks. So, the main reason, don't have time for it, don't have time to do it properly. And I got my own life, I got different things to do in my life. And the second reason is matchmaking i hate to say it but every streamer every youtuber you are watching will tell you the same that no matter what deck you gonna build it's gonna have around 60 percent of win rate and it's kind of weird right shouldn't be there a deck which win most times i mean yeah if you play five games you can win five games and claim that you got 100 percent win rate deck you can do it but uh, we all know it's scam if you would play thousand games you would have only 600 wins because arena will handle that arena will give you games where you just cannot 
win because of opponents and their decks <clears throat> or because of you are land screwed or something like that uh, you cannot do anything about it you're just stuck on two or three lands and you need four to grow so it's basically uh, giving w to your opponent for free without fight and trust me i guarantee you every single deck you will build you will build will have around 60 percent when you play it long term which means you will get to mythic but you have to play a long time and you have to play many games and eventually you will be in mythic easily all the decks i've been showing you are those decks which get you to mythic all those that got around 60 percent of win rate sorry so yeah if you are interested in any of those deck you can leave comment uh, i can do uh, more videos about it uh, showing the deck tech of those deck there won't be probably any gameplay because i don't want to record it anymore in arena uh, i will be playing probably because it's still great mm, great um, things to spend some time and relaxing you just can play one or two games or you can play 10 games if you got time for it it's quick it's game i love i will still play magic but it's gonna be for example in paper uh, or in commander via internet that's the reason why i don't want to quit this youtube channel because maybe i will be playing and and uh, recording some commander uh, decks or some commander games and yeah just just common common magic to gathering content uh, but i will not record arena i will not be playing arena on the highest level like reaching mythic as soon as possible just i will sometimes casually will be playing for fun creating some new decks probably some more of a jank decks meme decks or combo decks i will have fun with those decks but it's probably nothing to worth shooting it's gonna be just relaxing for me when kids are sleeping for example so yeah thank you for listening thank you all my subscribers for subscribe it showed me that i'm probably doing it right way but not as bright as i would want to and it was growing slowly but it was growing consistently so great experience kind of learn how to work with youtube and all things around uh, i'm getting much better with editing videos and doing some effect effective cuts and all those things which could be uh, pretty pretty useful in these days in days of pandemic situation where a lot of people are losing their job and needs to stay home work through the internet so it could be pretty handy skills i've been learning this half year thank you everybody uh, i know uh, we had a huge giveaway of great card uh, when i reach 1000 it still counts if i reach 1000 but as i mentioned the videos won't be as regular on daily basis or weekly basis 
uh, it's gonna be probably slower and maybe some subscribers will drop subscription because of that uh, there won't be much videos of arena i don't know whether you were interested in it or you were here just for a giveaway but uh, arena kind of disappointed me with the matchmaking system and i cannot do it anymore i just want to play various decks i want to build decks against for example elves and i want to play against elves but when you build deck against elves you probably meet one of 20 opponents with elves but that's bad that's bad that's how it was a little bit longer than i thought i will be finding this month hopefully get to numbers and i will have fun and if there will be any huge thing in magic or in my arena life or commander life or paper life <clears throat> i will upload some new videos but yeah that's it thank you all thank you all for your support i really appreciate it it means a lot to me uh, I basically didn't get any hate comments in five months. Everything, every comments I get was supportive or asking for advice and just just saying nice deck or something like that. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. It was great experience. Hell of a ride. For the last time, have a magical day or night, whatever. See you maybe next time, maybe not. And Red Mage, Martin, out. <laughs>